we're sending her. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little slippery. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. We're gonna be testing out my all-terrain Falcon Wild Peak tires. Now I have the 33 inch size on my Tacoma and I've had them in the sand, in the mud, on the rocks, and for about seven months, they've been performing really well, and I've been happy with them. On the road, they sound nice and quiet. They're not super loud and droney. So all around, I've been really happy with them, but I haven't really tested them out in the snow or the ice. We're in the middle of a storm right now, and there's a ton of ice on the ground. So I'm gonna take you guys with me here while I test out these tires, and maybe if you guys are on the fence about these and don't know if you want them, maybe this will sway you and picking a setup because I really like these and I'm hoping they perform really well on the ice. So let's hop into this and go for a drive. We are out on the road now. It doesn't look too icy, a little bit of slush. We have uh, 38 pounds of pressure in the tires and uh, yeah, two wheel drive. I don't know if I mentioned that. And we're gonna keep on driving here. It's not too icy on this road. Unfortunately, I was hoping it would be a solid sheet of ice. We're gonna do a brake test here and it stops fine. We're going to go out here on this uh, little side road and see how we do. We're a little bit, we're sliding a little bit. Now this is two wheel drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and shut off my traction control because it is, it is fighting me. So we're going to turn that to the first thing and see if that helps me. And that's helping significant with keeping the power of those back wheels. But we're going to go ahead. It's pretty slick right now, so I don't want to have to deal with four wheel drive. Uh, when I'm already stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in four wheel drive now and shut the traction control the rest of the way off so I have the full control over the truck that I want. Okay, now that should be all right. Just cause it is pretty slick and now we're, we're kind of going in the off road section now. And there's no reason to be slipping and burning up the tires. We, were, we could have made it easily, but I don't feel like eating up my tires spinning when I don't have to. Feels pretty good though. It does feel slick still. I can feel that I'm driving on sleet and ice buildup. We just launched up that hill with ease. I mean, I could tell it's slick, but it it's not like I'm having any issues uh, climbing it. I am in four wheel drive, but it's just kind of launching up the hill and kind of fun to play around with actually. It's not having any issues. We're gonna continue down this trail and then come back up it and see how it does going up. Oh, found some tree branches there. They're hanging a little They're bit. Hanging. They're hanging lower than what they were hanging in the past. Give some nice scratch out, I guess. Give the truck some character. A little bit of a rub, I guess. All right, now we're going down the hill. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes and see if we're slide. Oh, we did slide a little bit there. Good bit. Went towards the bank. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and keep on going down. But it took a lot of pressure for me to get that ass end to slide out, so. And it still stopped. It wasn't like it couldn't stop. Ashley says I'm hauling, but I'm going like. Now you are. You are going almost 20. No, I was I barely saw going it. any fast, <laughs> any speed. <laughs> it is a bit squishy feeling, but it straightens right up as soon as I start feeling a little, a little sketchy. Watch me. uh crash into the bank in this little review no, video. Down there. It is a bit squishy and slidey feeling. For example, right there, I had the wheel completely turned this way and it wasn't turning. <laughs> 
but you know this is four wheel drive so really all I have to do to fix that is mash on the gas and it should go more or less where I'm pointing the wheel I would hope so we're coming here at the bottom of the hill it, there's a tricky bit not really it's just kind of a bend and some bumps to deal with so I figured I'd turn the camera back on see how she performs there My main worry is sliding into the banks. I mean, I don't think it's too much of a concern, but you know, I'd rather not bang up the truck when I don't have to. Yeah, so we, we've been in high four most of this time. Here's that tricky bit right here where I don't want to uh, overcorrect and slide into anything. Okay. Pretty easy peasy. Turn the and I'm probably gonna go ahead and turn around here and head back up there and see how she does going up. Look at the ice over here on the side of this bridge here. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? So here we're gonna continue and try to go up this hill and see how she does. So I haven't spent too much time winter off-roading, so it could be in store for me to smash in the shit out of my truck. I'm actually giving Ashley the camera here so I can actually drive and focus. Speed and power! Speed and power! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's all about speed and power, boys. We're sending her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's a little slippery. <laughs> the, the thing is, we're not giving it a chance to spin, so we're going to keep the speed up. Power through. I should have put my seatbelt on. <laughs> I can't focus on that. We need speed and power right now, not seatbelts. Okay, so the tires are doing good. It is a bit slippery, but all in all, I mean, I think we're doing pretty well. Ooh, a little slippery. There's a ditch down here, so. <laughs> we're just hoping we can <laughs> stay on the road. <laughs> it's getting steep. <laughs> there goes the tire tread that I just bought. I hope not. <laughs> Spinning that bad. I don't think. It's biting. But it is a bit slick. It is a bit slick, boys. It's all about speed and power. See that corner? A lot of guys will slow down on that corner because they're scared, but I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> You're so momentum, fancy. You know? This is thick ice, by the way. You might not see it as thick ice, but it's a bit thick. <laughs> All right, so we walked off that pretty easy, huh? Oh yeah, boys, we got a little sideways there coming up. Yeah, so I figured I'd show you guys here on the outside. You know, it's not really, it doesn't look like it's eating them up too bad. You know, I don't think we're really spinning that much. If It's slushy, but we're not really spinning. It's able to get that traction down and get us up that hill pretty easily. Not too much of a concern, to be honest. I mean. I don't even smell burnt rubber or anything, so I think we're good to go. We're gonna keep on going up and tearing up this little snow hill. All in all, it's doing really good. We are still back on the trail, guys, but I wanted to hop out and talk to you a little bit about these tires. Now, this is the typical, you know, there's two tires that you can get when you're overlanding. The typical bro tire is the BF Goodwitch KO2. You get those, they're a pretty good tire. I hear good things about them. I do think now my parents have them on their Subaru and you know, it's not like a super big tire on the Subaru, but I thought the road noise in my mom's car, she has a Subaru Forester, it's a, it's, it's a loud tire in my opinion. Now I'm pretty sure that is the Mud Terrain variant, maybe. No, I don't think it is, I don't know. I'll have to double check, but she has the BF Goodrich tire and I think it's a pretty loud tire. But then you got these tires and I'm very happy with the Falcon Wild Peaks. You know, when you're overlanding, you're driving on the main road, you're driving on some trails, you're doing a little bit of everything. I think this is a great all around tire. We went down to North Carolina, so it was about a 500 mile trip and most of it was highway. 
tires did great on the highway. You know, fuel economy isn't too bad. I got about, I don't know, 16.8 in this with these 33s. Road noise is good. And then you go in the off-road and these perform really well. You're able to air down and get some more performance. Like I said, right now we're in 38, almost 40 pounds of pressure in these and we're tearing up the snow. And you know, I, I can't really complain about them. You know, it's a little bit slippery out here, but this is this is all slush and, and ice. So all in all, I'm, I'm pretty happy with these tires. And you know, good job Falcon Wild Creek. So if you're on the fence about them, check them out. We're gonna head home and I'll see you guys in a little bit. back to the house the truck did great i talked to you guys a little bit on the trail there but i just want to say thanks for watching if this video helped you gave you some insight on what kind of tires to buy hit a like button hit that subscribe button if you run bf goodriches let me know in the comments how they are doing and if you like them if you ran the wild peaks before and if you prefer the bf goodriches or the wild peaks let me know in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one check out this video right here it's pretty good see you later guys